Hello, I'm Sil from FightNerd.com, interviewing Daniel Gracie. Carries a strong Gracie name, and we saw some uh, exceptional grappling from you today. How did you feel about the tournament? It was very good. Uh, it's good to be back. Last mm. time I competed was in 2003. I've been training for MMA since then. Uh, but I get excited again. I have that fire now inside, and like I'm not happy because I lost my mm. second match. But uh, that made me feel that I still can keep it up with. Uh, Young boys. Excellent. Um, what does the future hold for you in maybe this year or the next couple of years for you in MMA and in your career? I have a contract with Bellator, so I'm still going to be fighting for Bellator. Uh, but again, like I'm available to fight anywhere, you know, like outside of the US. So I'm going to be looking for, for a match like before my October match. I have a match on in October. So that's what I'm training for now. And this was just like something that like, you know what, I'm in shape, I'm going to compete in some grappling tournaments and I like it, so maybe I'm going to be doing that for now on. Excellent. Now for your fans, what do you, uh, what do you have to say for them in terms of tra training advice? Man, you have to love it. You have to love it. Training is always the hard part, the fights are not, are not that, uh, the, hard, the harder part of the, uh, the, the training is, is the hard part, but if you like it, Again, keep training, uh, no, no drugs, no, don't drink too much, you know, go party like in the weekends or go back home, get healthy again, train hard, and then if you want to be a fighter, just you know, get focused and do whatever we need to do to be a fighter. Excellent. Well, thank you, and this is Daniel Gracie, and this is Sil from FightNerd.com. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.